good afternoon dear students so welcome to this class of ampulang till now we were dealing with retrosynthesis that is synthesis in the reverse order well ampulang similarly is polarity in the reverse you will soon understand as to how because the what is the normal way to uh, react when two compounds are reacting it's obviously they react when they are having opposite polarity and so new compounds are formed or new carbon carbon bonds are formed by way of aldol reaction diels alder reaction michael reaction etc this is the usual way in which compounds react that is one molecule reacts with the other having the opposite polarity but so many biologically active compounds are known having varied applications where uh, it becomes difficult to synthesize them by the normal routine because we one is uh, looking typically at bonds which do not have a uh, same i mean which do not have opposite polarities as far as their functionalities are concerned or their functional nature is concerned then they will be having similar type of a nature that is if one carbon is positively charged similarly the other carbon so how to make them react because one needs such carbon carbon bonds to react to form some new compound hence came the concept of ampolum that is reversal of polarity this concept was uh, given uh, by long time back by shibash and kore i have uh, noted uh, their references you can read the entire papers if you wish to uh, do so that uh, reversal of polarity means implying that new it's become important now to develop methods it had become then so as to induce ampolum that is this is induced polarity in other words if a carbon is behaving like a positive end and it has to combine with another carbon which too has a positive character then the poles are similar they will not react so one of those two out of those two molecules which are reacting one of them is made to behave in such a way that rather than being associated with the normal positive polarity there will be an induction of a negative polarity in other words reversal of polarity ampolung a german word ampolung implying reversal of polarity so let us see how this concept works because it's very important these are the certain references which interested any of you is interested who can read up in journal of american chemical society and journal of organic chemistry which was this concept put up by shibash and kore now let's see the how is this reversal of polarity is working because as you can see this carbonyl compound if this carbonyl compound has to react with an alkyl halide how does one go about it because we know a carbonyl as is shown here is slightly positively charged on the other hand the r itself will also be the alkyl also be positively charged because the x with it r x alkyl halide the halide will pull the electron pair towards itself so that r positive will be moving towards c positive you know carbonyls they give nucleophilic addition so this will be an electrophilic addition will this occur not in the least if so if we are planning to prepare this type of a compound that is we are planning this 
to undergo this type of a change the carbonyl positive to add to r positive how do we go about it well this is the target molecule let's see the disconnection if we disconnect this next to the carbonyl by the curved arrow it is shown which you are well familiar with by now what will we get these two functionalities r c double bond o and the other r ch2 positive okay as a result what will happen now see what have we done of course r ch2 positive is good enough the synthon these are synthons imaginary fragments but as you must be noting the polarity at this carbonyl carbon has been reversed reversed why because carbonyl carbon is c the c because of this electromagnetic shift is always positive here we are associating with the uh, negative charge why have we disconnected it this way now let's see we have reversed the polarity reversal it is supposed to be positive but we have to somehow create a negative charge induce a negative charge over here then only these two can react with each other hence the reversal of polarity these are the synthons which can then give us this compound so these this is an unusual uh, synthon for this we have we need a synthetic equivalent that is a reagent which will react so how do we go about producing that reagent reversal of polarity this is what we will see in these uh, upcoming uh, topics one by one sub topics rather so the strategy to deal with this is as follows that this is the carbonyl now this is taken this thiol which is of course selected diethylene for protection of this carbonyl this is used to protect this carbonyl group so what will happen that h2 o and rather we will rather than that we will be getting after this elimination in place of o over here h2 removed from this sh we will get a 1 2 3 13 diethylene 13 diethylene and what happens once we get this see now the sulfur this sulfur is electronegative so from this carbon it will withdraw electrons towards itself there are two such and moreover it's a cyclic structure already under strain so as soon as the base is added to this the base because now this is pulling the electrons carbon in turn pulls the electrons from the associated uh, hydrogen so the base will pull this hydrogen easily because the bond becomes now weak this will leave therefore as h positive leaving carbon negative over here in other words by virtue of making this diethylene there has been an induced polarity generated the negative one rather than carbon positive we are now getting a carbon negative this carbon negative now can easily react because that is the normal reaction that molecules of opposite polarity they react so this is carbon negative now alkyl halide this will dissociate in this manner uh, therefore this will be c positive this will attach here and we will get this c negative associated with this c positive a bond will be formed in this way which on deprotection of this this is removed by deprotection and what will be generated then our target molecule in other words this ketone has been generated by means of this method our ch2 has reacted so that we get this compound by reversal of polarity 
this is the strategy for ampullang now let us see the strategy working because this is the aldehyde usual reaction normal reaction as we know is c positive so a nucleophilic addition will take place this is the usual behavior what are we doing now rather than that the polarity is being reversed rather than is reacting with a nucleophile it is now reacting with an electrophile and this not being positive this is now negative hence reversal of polarity rather than giving an elect a nucleophilic we are getting an electrophilic the electrophile is attacking here this electrophile attacks here hence this is unusual behavior or reversal of polarity or ampullang now when this r here if it is equal to h so this is an anion now this will if it is h this will be hco negative that means it will be a formyl anion and if it is r then this uh, it, it, this r is an alkyl in that case it will be an acyl r c o negative and acyl anion therefore the name reversal of polarity and what are these two which are acting as the ampullang the ones which are acting as the ampullang are which uh, anions as we saw just now they were the formyl and the acyl anions acting as the ampullang reagents for this type of a synthesis coming to this example where a cyanide is acting as an ampullang cyanide now this is r ch2 cooh now the normal disconnection if we disconnect retrosynthesis would be between these two leading to r negative and c positive c positive by virtue of losing h positive will the, these are the synthons this would give them the synthetic equivalent co2 r negative will obviously form a grignard reagent this this is the usual method of forming this type of a target molecule but what if the polarity is reversed in other words reversal why because on this disconnection this end getting a positive and this end getting a negative the other way round what is now happening these are now the synthons synthons can we now prepare a synthetic equivalent this is positive so r ch2 br one synthetic equivalent for this now for this negative we know that cyanide has the capability to be transformed into coh by hydrolysis so for this coh cn will be the ampullang hence cn is used as the ampullang reagent for this synthetic this is the synthetic equivalent nacn this being the ampullang because it is associated with the opposite earlier this was c positive now this is c negative earlier this was r negative now this is r positive reversal of polarity so the synthesis will go about r ch2 br with sodium cyanide will give us because now one is negative one is positive this this will lead to the formation of r ch2 cooh r target molecule hence cyanide is ion here is behaving as an ampullang is the ampullang hmm. reversal of polarity now as we discussed earlier formyl ion as the ampullang this is how this is generated here the formyl ion this will react to give this uh, will react to give uh, with this hcho formaldehyde 
in the presence of a Lewis acid. Lewis acid will help in this because this will therefore be shifted here and as a result will easily leave in the form of H2O hmm? and therefore we get this 1,3-dithiane this derivative by virtue of that the, the dithiol. Hmm? This 1,3-dithiane as discussed earlier in the presence of a base will give us this formyl anion which is protected because it is this dithiane which is helping because this is electronegative so it is pulling electrons from here and moreover it is in a ring under strain so this will therefore pull electrons from here in the presence of a base H will leave as H plus leaving this electron pair formyl will therefore react with Rx to give us this uh, compound which on deprotection by means of uh, these reagents will lead to the formation of an aldehyde. So formyl ion is the ampoulang for aldehyde synthesis because we started off with formaldehyde leading to the formation of formyl ion. On the other hand if we are using an acyl ion that is as we discussed earlier in that case, it is RCO, RC negative O rather than HCO. So, acyl ion that is an ampoulang for ketones. Hmm? So, similarly, here this will react, this dithiol, and it will uh, react with uh, RCHO, the aldehyde, other aldehyde rather than formaldehyde. Here, formaldehyde will lead to the formyl anion, and other aldehydes will lead to this acyl anion which is the ampoulang. So this will be formed and this in the presence of a base will therefore lead to this RC negative. This is the acyl anion RC negative. Now RC negative because reversal of polarity has occurred as this end with Rx will give us this compound which on deprotection will lead to because deprotection means from here carbon this is all will also leave this s will also leave we will get an o over here carbon double bond oxygen as a, it happens for the deprotection in carbonyl compounds and we will get this carbonyl compound that is our ketone so what has been done this time that we get a ketone when we are using acyl ions as ampoulin. On the other hand, when we are using formyl ions, in that case, we tend to get an aldehyde. So, and when we are using cyanide ions, then we are getting our acid. So cyanide ion here is also acting as an ampoulang. Now let us see one or two other important examples by way of the acyl ion. Because we have done this earlier, in an earlier lecture we did the use of nitroalkanes. As to how nitroalkane can form an acyl ion equivalent. Why? If you recollect we did it in the use of nitro compounds in organic synthesis. This is our nitro group because we know nitrogen is positively charged. So at from the alpha position alpha uh, it will tend to pull electrons. As a result when a base is added H positive will be removed from here. What have we got? R C negative. And because this is associated with this NO2, this is acting as an acyl ion equivalent. This negative will react with a carbonyl positive. Now this is a carbonyl positive. This is C negative. And this will lead to the formation of the compound, this R, this is CH3, C negative. NO2, this is CR, the positive, O negative and H. So 
this will be formed and we know that with TiCl3 this NO2 group tends to form a carbonyl NO2 will be removed and we will get this carbonyl functionality in this way this compound has been generated how by reacting RCH2NO2 in the presence of a base with another carbonyl compound. Now this time this carbonyl compound is not undergoing the reversal of polarity. In other words, it is this CH2 which is undergoing reversal because otherwise CH2 is always associated with a positive charge. If it is a CH2, a RCH2, Cl or any other group. But here CH2 is being associated with a negative charge by virtue of elimination of H positive if NO2 is attached to it. So in other words, we can get acyl ions from nitroalkanes leading to this type of a uh, product by reacting with carbonyl compound. And this has been used for the synthesis of jasmine. Any of you are interested in this can uh, look up the synthesis. It's a very important synth uh, synthesis because jasmine this is an aromatic compound used in perfumery and it is very expensive. So compounds like jasmine, even other compounds, but I have discussed here only just jasmine for your interest, those of you are interested as to how nitro uh, alkanes are being used as acyl ion equivalents because we've done this uh, lecture earlier, this topic we've discussed earlier. So this is jasmine. This, now this jasmine, as you can see, retrosynthesis, di 1,4, dicarbonyl, wherever we see this type, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, because they will can then cyclize. So an alpha beta disconnection here between these two double bonds, because now this double bond will give rise to a C double bond O over here. And this can, when we are going back, in, uh, back, that is synthesizing, this can react with H2 over here, H2O elimination, and again lead to the formation of double bond. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 4 dicarbonyl uh, disconnection. And this alpha beta position, the double bond. So this is the double bond O here, which while going back will cyclize to give us that cyclopentene ring, cyclopentenone ring. Hmm. Now this can further be disconnected. How? Because we know that C double bond O can be formed how? From NO2. NO2 with TiCl3 gives us C double bond O. This important reaction. This too we discussed last time when we were discussing the use of nitroalkanes in organic synthesis. So instead of this we write NO2. Now, this can again be disconnected. Why? Because now a nitro compound has come into the scene. We know that this nitro can create a carbon negative here. So if a double bond is here, it will undergo a Michael type of a, a reaction. So addition. So we disconnect it here. By how? Again see. NO2. This here. CH. So th this will form. CH3 here, this CH3, CH2, NO2, CH3, CH2, NO2, because we know it can be negative, this type of, a, and if this is negative, this other end will be positive, and this is positive, so positive, this hydrogen uh, can leave as H positive, and a double bond will be formed here, this will be an alpha, beta, unsaturated ketone, so while going back, this alpha, beta, unsaturated ketone, electromeric shift, this will get a positive charge. This will be negative in the presence of a base. This can then add to this. Therefore, the use of this nitro group over here. That is the reason we converted this to this functionality. Now, to further disconnect it, we choose to... This is now written as OH because in the reverse we will be doing oxidation remember so we will write this special oxidation Jones oxidation where we are using these reagents for oxidizing so uh, this is a two phase uh, oxidation two phases are being used so we will write instead of 
because we have to we want to simplify it further so oh over here reverse of this will be oxidation so we will get this this is a secondary alcohol on oxidation this will give us this ketone this can it be disconnected yes we disconnect it so that we will get a positive charge at one end negative because this is the usual disconnection if you remember with a positive charge over here this H will leave so we will get a carbonyl and a negative charge here negatively charged R generates a very good Grignard reagent and we know that alcohol can be formed when a Grignard reagent reacts with a carbonyl compound so this is the disconnection to give us this aldehyde CHO and this Grignard reagent so the reverse of this will lead to the formation of this important compound which is a very important compound jasmine used in perfumery i haven't given the other uh, the synthesis this is the retrosynthesis so the synthesis will be just the opposite of this retrosynthesis which is given here so those of you who are interested can look up this entire synthesis where we are using 1,4 dicarbonyl disconnection as well as we are also using nitro as an ampolung because we are generating an acyl ion and ion from here. Now coming to this problem. Well, ampolungs are important. Many a times you get questions in competitive, various competitive exams such as the net and all on this uh, let's see one such problem this is the problem that C6H5 CHO in the presence of this trimethyl uh, cyanide zinc iodide LDA THF and isopropyl iodide then acidified finally reacted with aqueous NaOH now this seems a lot a lot of reagents what is the product that is formed well things are not all that tough that they look how do we go about let's start the mechanism with an aldehyde what will happen first because C6H5CHO trimethyl silyl cyanide this will tend to form with oxygen negative and zinc iodide itself acting as a Lewis acid will help in this type of a formation because uh, if we are trying to synthesize this again there will be what product can it be formed if we see because we know no, that C6H5CHO with isopropyl iodide this will be positive this will also be positive they can't react as such so immediately what comes into mind by using these reagents these reagents cyanide here if you remember the benzoin condensation and the use earlier we did how cyanide is used as an ampolung so we will be using that concept here to solve this because reversal of polarity here we will need to induce what a negative charge rather than a positive hence the name ampolung to form a product we need an ampolung so that isopropyl iodide can attach here this is positive isopropyl group to attach here this is also positive they otherwise can't react hence the concept of ampolung which becomes even more clear when we see this cyanide over here so this reaction how it will proceed is C6H5CHO trimethylsilyl cyanide this with uh, will form this link with oxygen enolate like is formed so similarly now what will happen because zinc iodide Lewis acid so this will help to pull this O negative form this O negative O negative TMS once is attached to this we will be getting our cyanide ions trimethylsilyl once this is attached here so we will be getting the cyanide ions cyanide negative hmm? 
cyanide negative will therefore attack this C positive to give this product. Now once CN is attached here, this carbon because C triple bond N, so this will be pulling electrons towards the nitrogen. This carbon in turn will pull electrons from here. This in turn will pull electrons from here. As a consequence, this carbon-hydrogen bond will become weak. So, in the presence of a base, this will quickly lose this H positive and we will get this carbane ion. So, by using CN, it has fulfilled this purpose of creating a negative charge over here. Rather than carbon, now this is a carbonyl carbon, remember? So, rather than it being positive, it is now negative. This can now easily act on carbon positive from this isopropyl iodide in the next step. This will react with isopropyl iodide to give us this carbon-carbon bond. This carbon-carbon bond has been generated. And now in the presence of H positive, this will revert back to O negative, H positive. In other words, once this has been formed, OH in the presence of H positive, because trimethylsilyl has fulfilled its role, so the alcohol has been generated. In the presence of a base, what will happen? In the presence of a base, because once this has been formed and this is attached to CN negative. Now CN negative is continually you know, pulling electrons towards itself continuously. So, this oxygen in turn will pull electrons from this associated hydrogen. The bond between oxygen and hydrogen becomes weak and in the presence of this base, which we have seen is added last in this reagents as the reagents order was given. So, this will help to pull out this H positive. As a result, we will be getting O negative. This O negative will help this CN negative to leave from here. The work has been done by CN negative by generating an, the, so a carbon negative charge over here. So the, now what will happen? We will get this carbonyl compound, this CO, CN will leave and the product formed will be C6H5CO with this attached isopropyl group. So this has been formed. This is the product and how was it formed? Let us again go over this problem. It came in one of the exams earlier. So I thought why not discuss it in this context. All these reactions even earlier prior to this. Whether it was aldol, whether it was hex reaction, whether it was sonogashira. All of them are important from the point of view of competitive exams. And ampolung is a very important reaction by way of synthesis. And here if we see this where trimethylsilyl, TMSCN, cyanide, zinc iodide, LDA, lithium isopropyl diamine, and THF, and finally isopropyl iodide, then reacting, acidifying it to form the OH if you recollect, and Finally, treating it with aqueous NaOH. This is the reaction because otherwise the usual reaction would have not formed the product because carbon is positive and so is the isopropyl group positive because I pulls the electrons towards itself, a good leaving group. So it will be C positive attaching, attaching to another C positive which can't occur. So ampolung concept was applied that is reversible of reversal of polarity at which end at the end of the carbonyl. Carbonyl positive was generated rather than carbonyl negative. C negative was generated or induced we can say. So C6H5CHO in the presence of TMSCN trimethylsilyl cyanide will lead to the formation because zinc iodide will help the electron pair to shift uh, pi electrons to form O negative. This will then form a bond with TMS and CN will be therefore released as CN negative. This CN negative then will attack the carbon positive to form this cyanide. 
Now the bond has been weakened because cyanide is a group which pulls electrons towards the cell. See, triple bond N. N is electronegative. So it will pull electrons for car from carbon. Carbon in turn will pull electrons from this carbon. Hence, this carbon and hydrogen bond will become weak because we know this hydrogen can leave in the form of H positive, leaving its electron pair here. So if a base is added, this is the base which is added, this will generate a carbene ion. This work has been conducted by using CN. CN has helped to generate this C negative here, the Ampolung concept. And now the C negative will can react with this CH3, CH3, CH positive to form a bond. And this bond has been formed. This on therefore reacting with an acid hydrolysis will give us OH and this OH further if it is treated because again CN is attached here so it will be pulling electrons towards itself so again this OH bond will become weak as a consequence H will leave as H positive in the presence of a base generating this anion which will help the carbonyl will be formed and it will help the CN to leave finally as CN negative leading to the formation of this product. So this was an important problem which was based on the concept of R Ampolung. So today what did we do for the Ampolung? We, let's try to recollect that what is this Ampolung concept that is reversible the reversal of polarity, a carbonyl carbon or for that matter any group which otherwise would have been any other carbon since we are discussing organic chemistry which otherwise would have been associated with one charge, the positive charge is changed to the or reversed to the negative by inducing the other polarity on it. And how, what is the strategy that is undertaken? The strategy that is undertaken is by using either diethylene or the cyanide ion to generate formyl ions. Formyl ions are the ampolung for aldehyde synthesis. Acyl ions are the ampolung for ketone synthesis. And similarly, nitroalkanes can also be used to generate the acyl ions that is RCH negative which can lead to the formation of compounds of high level of interest and which are also expensive and require a greener route towards synthesis such as once one such example we did the synthesis of jasmine and this problem is based on this similar concept of ampolung whereby these different steps led to the formation of our carbonyl compound by using the concept of ampolung. So that is all for today. Good day.